What's up, everybody? Axe Wizard here, back with Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. So, I played this in early access when it first came out, and I don't know how to turn off cheats because I, I just tried playing, I, I played like an hour and a half of gameplay, and OBS, for some reason, the capture footage was like 4 FPS, but while I was playing, it seemed like it was fine. So, that's fun. Uh, how do I turn off cheats? Because I had cheats enabled at some point during uh, during early access, and whenever I start a game, it says achievements disabled, and I don't know how to disable the cheats. Banner Lord disable cheats. Okay, here we go. So I can do console uh, config. Dot cheat mode, and I can set this to zero. There we go. So I disabled cheat mode with the console, I guess. Anyway, yeah, so let's jump into a new campaign. So, right off the bat, the new thing they've added is they have a cinematic here. For 500 years, the Calradian Empire dominated the continent. Its armies scattered foes before them. I've already watched this, obviously, because I just recorded the an hour and a half of gameplay that's proud useless. Tribes crumbled beneath its engines of war. But basically, it's just saying, uh, you know, that it's basically human history is what it is. Um, there was a big war, like the Empire united everybody, life was good corruption seep through and then now everyone's fighting each other again here we are so we get to pick our character culture so vlandians are like knight calvary kind of people sturgeons are more like vikings or norse empire is kind of like romans um Aserai or sort of uh arabic cultures uh kuzates are more like mongols you know horse archers um steppe kind of people and then Batanians are like uh, Celtic Highlanders so I think I'm gonna go with the Batanians because I typically like playing uh, Archer and I, I like that a lot so but I might I, I kind of want to go Sturgeons because during early access Sturgeons were a joke they always got rolled no matter what you tried to do Except for like one experimental patch they did, I think they were super overpowered and they just downtuned them again. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll see what happens. But uh, Sturgeons are the descendants of foreign tribes of northern Calradia. As the empire expanded into their cold forests, they found a ready market for the luxurious furs of woodland animals whom they traditionally hunted and trapped. Sturgeon chieftains became princes, vying for preeminence with the help of Nord mercenaries who migrated to their realm. They are good hunters and wanderers, traveling far in search of opportunities for both trade and plunder. So recruiting and upgrading infantry troops are 25% cheaper. Armies lose 20% less daily cohesion. 20% um, more relationship penalty from kingdom decisions. That seems kind of an odd thing, but whatever. Oh my god, put some clothes on, guy. Alright, we're gonna randomize our dude. Uh, you sure? I don't care about, like, the face and stuff like that. It's probably gonna be... I'm probably never gonna see my character's face that much anyway. Um, where's a good... I can get, like, braids. You know, it's funny, they got like four different types of fro, which is hilarious. During early access, like, every looter had like the same face, and they all had this same fro hairstyle. And so it was just f <laughs> it was just funny. And everybody was huge, too. It was like I was fighting Andre the Giant. But uh, that, that was a lot of fun. So let's do... I don't know, what's a good, like, Nordic haircut? Viking. Here we go, that's Viking. And then for the beard, we'll just go for the biggest beard we can. That one's not bad. That one's okay. There we go, here's a big beard. Sure. I like it. Next. 
So choose my family. You were born into a family of a boyar's companions, urban traders. Uh, free farmers, urban artisans, hunters, or vagabonds. I'm going to go hunters, because this gives me a focus point into bow, which I like being an archer, so that's typically what I like to do. So, I was known for my attention to detail, gives me athletics and bow. Uh, hunted small game, gives me bow and tactics. Uh, join the skirmishers. Robe with the scouts gives me riding and bow. And hunted a dangerous animal. Let's see. Uh, I also kind of want to do tactics and leadership because leadership makes it so I can have more more dudes. So I think I'm gonna do yeah tactics and leadership. So, like many families in Calradia, your life was ravaged, or your life was upended by war. Your home was ravaged by the passage of an army, uh, by passage of army after army. Eventually, you sold your property and set off with your father, mother, brother, and your two younger siblings to a new town you'd heard was safer, but you did not make it. Along the way, the inn at which you were staying was attacked by raiders. Your parents were slain, and your two youngest siblings seized. But you and your brother survived because... I drove them off with arrows. Bam. So my name is going to be Axe Wizard. All right, Axe Wizard, let's go. So determine the game difficulty. I'm gonna go Freebooter because I suck. I played this game forever, but I suck. Brother, it's been three days now we've been tracking those bastards. I think we're getting close. We need to think about what happens when we catch them. How are we going to rescue our brother and sister? Are we up for a fight? So they also added voice acting, which wasn't in there before, so that's cool. This looks like an old training field for the legions. Perhaps we can spare some time and brush up on our skills. The practice could come in handy when we catch up with the raiders. So I'm going to skip the tutorial. Sure I know how to play. All right then. Let us I'm a god. The little one separately. I'll send you a word if I find them before you do. Right. Yeah, what are you going to do? Text me? One of a thing, brother. We want people to take us seriously. We may be leading men into battle soon. Let's give our family a name and a banner, like the nobles do. Okay. So now I get to make my clan. Well, after I leave. So this is like a weird attempt to start a story. Which I guess they kept. A few hours after you leave the training ground, you come across a wounded man lying under a tree. You share your water with him and try to dress his wounds as best you can. He tells you he is a traveling doctor. To thank you for your help, he hands you a small bronze artifact which he says was once given to him in payment by a warrior who said it was only who said that oh, he's bleh, who said only that it was related to Naretsi's folly. He suspects it might be of great value. You resolve to find out more. So why would some random guy give me this? I gave him some water and like dressed his wounds, cool, but this doesn't make much sense to me. And then, on the first day, you find something that, that Tactios mentioned. Who the hell is Tactios? I don't even know. So, select your family name. Genderoving. Um, let's do... What should my family name be? I don't know, I'm gonna name up something weird like... Randstad. That sounds like Viking-ish. I don't know. Whatever. So now we need to... The so Sturgia color is blue. And I think I might go with... We got a cool, like... Could do that. That doesn't look bad. I like that. That's pretty cool. Done. Cool. So now we are an army of one. So we have quest... So, in, uh, investigate Naretsi's folly. And I have 16, uh, 1,680 days to, to complete this. Um, Calradia is a land full of peril, but also opportunities. To face the challenges that await, you will need to build up your clan. 
Your brother told you that there were many ways to go about this, but none, but that none, but that none forego coin. What a weird way to say that. Trade would be one means to an end. Fighting and selling off captured bandits in town is another. Whatever path you choose to pursue, traveling alone would make you easy pickings for whomever you come across on your trail. You know that you can recruit men to follow you from the notables of villages and towns, though they may ask you a favor or two of their own before they allow you access to their more valued fighters. Naturally, you may also find more unique characters in the taverns of Calradia. However, these tend to favor more established clans. Okay. So, establish your clan. Oh, and I thought I, thought I had th this one selected for some reason. That's weird. As you explore Calradia, learn more about your artifact and its importance by asking any lord or lady about the Empire's recent history. So, talk to ten nobles, okay? Calradia, yeah, we've already read that. So we have to get a thousand dinars, like profit. We gotta grow our party to 20 men. We gotta reach clan tier one and hire one companion. So let's get started. So let's take a look at the map. So right now we're starting off in the Southern Empire. These guys in blue here, Southern Empire. Why is there a ladybug on my screen? Get out of here. These other blue guys up here, these are the Sturgeons, who I'm probably going to join. Um, this is the Northern Empire. These purple guys, I think this is purple, I can't tell, I'm colorblind. These are the Western Empire. The green is the Batanians. Red is the Vlandians. This uh, sort of light blue-green color, I guess, is the, the Mongols or the, the Kuzate. And then down here are the Asari. So I'm going to make my way up north, uh, just up north. Now I remember that I used to be able to stop here at Physeon and buy a bunch of like grain and sell it over here at Argaron super like for, for a pretty good profit. So I might do that. I'm going to go buy some horses here first though. So let's head over here. So we're going to recruit some troops. We got two bros. I'm gonna buy products, and I can get so sumpter horses and mules like add like a hundred to your carry capacity. So I'm gonna buy one sumpter horse for now, and then we're gonna make our way and just recruit more troops and. Uh, Hopefully fight some bandit. Oh, there's a bandit hideout there. Forest bandits. I don't want to fight those guys yet. That's a death trap. So we'll just... Oh, there we go. Here's some looters. Let's let, let's throw down. We're just harmless travelers. Oh, yeah. You're harmless travelers. Sure. So we're going to fight these guys. Now this is where the magic of Mountain Blade happens. We get to fight. So, yes. Thank you for the tutorial. So you get to command your troops with, like, the, the F keys. So I get to say F1 and then F3 charge! makes them charge. Oh, hey, they're already here. What's up, dudes? There we go. Oh, no, I lost a guy. Yeah, I got two guys. I'm a god. Hell yeah. Alright, I did lose one guy though, so that's kind of a bummer. But I took a prisoner. And I got some sweet loot. I got some fish. That's good to have. Done. And one of my two of my recruits are ready to level up. So I think I'm gonna make them I'm gonna make them archers. And we're gonna keep going uh doing what we're doing. We're gonna recruit some more troops. We can get these guys, that's nice. I'm gonna leave. So my character, I have one focus point I can add somewhere, and I have a point in tactics and bow that I can assign. So I think I'm gonna put a focus point in, in leadership, because I'm gonna wanna level that up. And for tactics, let's see. Loose formations, your troops receive 25% less morale penalty from casualties when using line, loose, circle, or scatter formations. 
Um, your infantrymen suffer 10% less damage by ranged troops in simulations. Type formations. Your infantrymen deal 10% more... I'm going to go loose formation because I'm primarily going to be archer. Which is kind of funny because I'm, I'm Sturgeon and I think their archers suck. But we're going to make it work. Now for our bow skill. Um, I'm going to go dead aim. So it increases my headshot damage bonus by 30%. And also uh, my, my troops all gain plus 20 archery skill. So that's great. So let's see. Decreases penalty to movement speed for reloading by 50%, or your attacks ignore 10% of enemy's armor. Um, let's do this one. Cool. So I assign skills. Done. Now, did I already buy... I did hire some troops. That's good. Uh, who's this guy? If you please, stop there. I would ask you for your name. Uh, my name is X-Wizard, sir. May I ask your name? I am Abelitos of the House Prin Priennikos. Uh, here, what is Neretzi's Folly? Well, that was what some people call the Great Battle of Pandraic in the year 1077. Emperor Neretzis led an army accompanied by, by Kuzates and Asari to fight a coalition of Sturgians, Batanians, and Vlandians. It was a disaster for him. He died in it, but the victors didn't fare much better. I see. Uh, can you tell me anything about the Battle of Pendraic? I wasn't there. I know Lucan has some thoughts on it, though. Okay. Later, dork. So, that's fine. Just wanted to chat with that guy, ask him about it. Did that give me credit towards my quest? Really? That's... That's lame. Let's recruit some troops. Uh, I guess we'll do it infantrymen, sure. So we're running low on cash. So I think we should probably just head over here and try to get this going. What's, what's this here? Party? Oh. I have a looter who's ready to be converted to my team, but my my uh, party takes a morale loss. So I'm not gonna do that. Back off, stranger, unless you want to surrender or die, buddy. So this early game is just pretty boring. Give them hell! It's mostly just picking off looters at the start. But it gets really fun when you join a faction. And you can even start your own faction. You can become the ruler of the of the entire world if you wanted to. Um, that takes many hours of play, but it's possible. Oh, I got that guy in the face. I gained a level, baby! Ah, darn it. Hell, we did it. Good job, men. Nice. So we got another looter prisoner. That's fantastic. And these recruits are ready to be upgraded to archers. So we'll do that. And I got some loot, which is always fun. So now let's head back to Physeon. This little red marker next to my name, that's new. Ooh, mountain bandits. Ooh, looters. Come here, buddy. I need you. You guys We've give me no money. With you. Yeah, that's fine. You guys are going down. Okay, so let's start this. Archers! Let's select archers. Forward! Loose formation! Infantry! Move! There we go. So now, we did a little bit of tactics there, so now we can take these guys out from a distance. There you go. Shoot them, boys. There we go. Now we're doing some damage. Ah. Ow. Stop it. 
Stop it! I can't block! How do I block? Oh yeah, I remember how to block now. I did it. There you go. There we go. Thanks for getting my back, guys. Oh, I missed! There we go. That's fun. Woo! Another looter prisoner! Oh, look at that. All seven of my guys are ready to be upgraded. Done. Let's get all this stuff, which we can sell. And now, let's head back over to Fiseon. Uh, I'll leave those mountain bands alone. Ooh, more looters. I'm kind of rough, though. I don't really want to mess with them. So, first things first. Let's go and sell all this garbage. Oops, I didn't mean to sell my, my grain. Um, how do I get that back? Give me back my grain, man. Yeah, you know, we're just gonna do cancel. We're gonna redo that. So, sell all this stuff here. We need our grain. We're gonna sell this stuff. Keep the Sumter horse. So we get 657. I'm gonna hit done on that, go back into trade. Now I'm gonna buy some grain for 13 a pop. And I can carry up to 270. You can see it up at the top right. That's my capacity. So there we go. Done. And I can probably, there's no troops to recruit here. So now we're up to 680 gold. So let's go carry on our merry way. Oh, I forgot to sell my, my looter prisoners. Oh, there's lots of looters around here. Please give me some troops. 182? It's worth it. Alright, let's take on these guys. These guys are probably going to gang up on me. Yeah. If I get too close, then they'll all... They'll all uh, band together. So now I separated them. And if I can get, get this guy... That's alright. Attack. Alright, cool. So let's see. Footman! Move! Archers! Move! Loose formation! There we go. So we'll just take a few shots at these guys. With this crappy bow. I'm almost hitting them. There we go. Dude, I remember archery being so much more powerful. This is this is trash. Oh, I was going for a headshot on that guy. There we go. I took a guy out. Oh god, I'm almost dead already. Uh, everybody, charge! Oh, come on. Oh, that went right through him. There we go. They hit him in the butt. I almost got him. No. Ah, so close. Ah, darn it. Alright, whatever. We won. We lost three guys. But that's the way it goes. Um, I'm too wounded to attack so I can send troops. This is so dumb. How did I lose one guy? Are you kidding me? I hate simulated battles, man. It's such bull... <sighs> whatever. At least we got all this fat loot, which is nice. Yep, I will take it all. Alright, now let's go back up to where we were, trying to go back up north. Recruit troops. We'll just do some more recruits. And are any of my guys ready to upgrade? They are not. Okay. 
So we'll go up here and try to get more men. Look, more looters! Done. So we'll chase these guys. Seems like every time I fight guys, it's always nighttime. I got more looters that want to join my team. I don't want to do that. I take like a, a morale penalty every time I do. Holy cow, am I going to fight these guys during the day? Back off, stranger. There Unless we go. you want trouble. We will attack these fools. Awesome. Soldiers! Forward! Archers! Stand apart! There we go. You know what? I'm going to dismount. I'm tired of running around on a horse. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Maybe I do more damage when I'm on my when, when I'm on the ground. I don't know. Infantry attack! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Beat they ass. Nice. So I got some worn arm wraps, which is good stuff. Take all the loot. And we're going up here to Argaron to sell all this grain I've got. Uh, looks like one of my recruits wants to upgrade. That's good. I'm still at 474 dinars. And if we go here to trade. And if I sell. it's uh, I bought it for like 11, I think. And it's selling for 12 here. <laughs> That's not ideal. Whatever. There we go. But, let's sell all this other junk that, that we picked up. Uh, date fruits, that's, that's pure profit. There we go. So, 834 dinars. Cool, I'm back over a thousand again. So, let's go to the tavern district. And I'm gonna ransom my prisoners to get rid of those guys. And if I go to recruit some troops, I should be able to finish out my little entourage here. There we go. So now, I'm gonna try to go over here into Sturgia land. Let's go to this city first. Oh, looters! Let's get them, boys! Oh, they might be too fast for me. Nope, I'm good. Just harmless trap attack. So this is another cool thing that they added. They had this for sieges, but I can like pre-deploy my troops when you get to like a certain battle size, and you can just use the same command. So for example, if I want my infantry, infantry to stand like right here, forward, and if I want my archers, archers. to stand like over here. And if I want them to Stand apart. spread out, then we can do that. And then I can put me Horse Archer, move. like right there. Here we go. We're ready to rock. So it looks like they're all running at me. There we go. I think I'm undershooting. Now I'm probably overshooting. It's kind of hard to tell, but my archers have the high ground. Okay, I think that's going to be... No, just now it's going to hit. That would have hit. There we go. There we go. I killed two looters. Get them, boys. Nice. Well done. The day is ours. Cool. I got two more looters, and some recruits are ready to upgrade. Ooh, Imperial Veteran Archer. Let's get that guy moved up towards the top. Let's 
good stuff. And we got more stuff. Stonks. All right, let's go back to what we were trying to do, which is go here. So this is one of those games that I'm probably not going to like make a series on or anything. Um, but it's one of the games that I just, it, it's really, oh crap, there's Sea Raiders. It's really easy to lose a bunch of hours in it because, um, here, let's see if I can chase these guys down. Oh, there's a Sea Raider hideout right there. Because see, if I can get some of this sweet armor, that'd be pretty dope. So let's attack these fools. Mounted archers! Okay, so... Archers! Let's have you stand Move. here. Loose formation! Footmen! Infantry, I want you guys Move. over here. Horse archer! I want to be right there. There we go. So actually... This is not ideal terrain for... Uh, archers and stuff, but... Got a hill blocking the way. I could move them, but they're pretty slow. Okay, so block with a shield. Oh, God, throw, throw, oh, I just took that on my shoulder. That was fun. Alright, just be cool. Just be cool. Put me, kill them all! all right, infantry, I want you guys charging. Nice. Well job, men. Didn't even lose a single man. Except almost myself. I almost got one-shotted. I took a Sea Raider captive. He'll sell for some money. And let's see. We got a thick round shield. I'll definitely take that. Because that'll help me survive. I got a dented nasal helm over leather. I'll definitely take that. That'll make me harder to kill. And I got a scarf. Which adds a little bit more armor. Cool. Done. All right, and I guess we will just keep making our way up to uh, Tayal. Um, let's get these guys upgraded. 155 gold, worth it. I'm still over a thousand, so we're sitting good there. I'm paying 73 gold a day. Ooh, this guy has a. Uh... Hey. I don't think I know you. Peace to you, stranger. Uh, my name is Axe Wizard. May I ask your name? I am Godin of the Vaigiroving, one of the ancient lineages of the Sturgeons. I am Lord of Tial. Kinaz Godin. Okay. Uh, can you tell me about the Paddle of Pendraic? Yes, it was madness. The greatest blow struck against the Empire in a lifetime, and we squandered it squabbling amongst ourselves about a flag. They say Olic the Old had pried the dragon banner out of the Emperor's dead hands, but when Prince Ragnavad, who had not so much as drawn his sword in battle, claimed it as a trophy, Olek, who was covered in his enemy's blood, laughed at Ragnavad and told him to go find his own toy to play with. Ragnavad struck him, so Olek broke the banner staff over his knee and threw it in the prince's face. Or perhaps it was just Ragnavad. He was stewing in his anger when it when when up comes the Batanian king, Kaladog. The Batanians had taken their time stripping the bodies off the Imperial Vanguard and the Sturgeons were angry at them, so Ragnavad called him a coward. Kaladog sneers at him and walks off. Insults his most powerful vassal that insults his most valued ally. A fine day's work, wouldn't you say? But he has grown wiser since, though no more pleasant to spend time with. Uh, thank you. Cool, so I talked to one guy who knows something. I must leave now. Thanks, dude. Yeah, fun stuff.
Cool. We're almost, uh, so that was the Lord of Tial. That's cut. That's cool. So, let's go. Tavern District. I want to ransom my prisoners. Looks like we have a companion that we can uh, talk to here. Peace to you, stranger. So, if you come any closer, I may stick a knife in your belly, as one cannot be too careful these days. Okay. What's this face? <laughs> All right. Uh, my name is Axe Wizard, madam. So let's get the pleasantry. So you can like ask them their backstory and stuff. Uh, I'm just gonna ask her to join my company. So 305 for her to join my party, and like as as my companion, I get to also control like what skills she picks. And also what uh, what armor she wears and stuff like that, so I can totally deck her out and make her just a powerful uh, hero. And with the with the easy difficulty settings, she never dies. She'll be wounded, and she might be out of a fight for a while, but she but she won't die, which is awesome. Cool. So I paid three hundred and five. So I have a companion. So that part of the quest is done. Let's trade and sell some stuff. Um... Yeah. There we go. So we got there 400 something. Cool. Cancel. Leave. So I've got too many people in my party, so I'm gonna drop one of these recruits here. And I'm just gonna let him go. So now I'm, I'm capped at 20. Uh, let's see. I have two focus points that I can still assign. I haven't done that yet, I guess. Or maybe I just got two more. Let's put it in leadership. Because we're going to need that. And then I also wanted to check out my companion here. So Carmine, Carmenette the Wainwright. So she's good with two-handed weapons. She's really good with bow. She's pretty quick on her feet, and she's decent at engineering. So, nice. So she gives me, like, some siege stuff. Cool. And 12% increased build speed for town projects. That's awesome. Um, yeah. She's, she's kind of all over the place. She's got focus points everywhere. But yeah, cool. So, she works best with two-handed stuff. So let's see what she's equipped with. So she has an iron arming sword, which I'm gonna take. Because <laughs> this has a, a length of 103, and my little axe has a length of 65. So I'm gonna take it, and then I'm gonna give her the axe. Because I'm a gentleman like that. So let's talk weapons and stuff. Do we have a better bow? Because this hunting bow is trash. All these bows are really expensive. I was hoping for, like, a, a, at least a bow that maybe I can get her, but I guess that's not happening. So anyway... So let's see, how is our clan doing? So I can have up to three companions. We need to work on our renown. So that is just basically... What's this? Is there a tournament going on? Is that what I see? Ooh, I can join the tournament! Yeah, we'll join. So, let's see... I'm in the last... The last round here, so if we just skip all rounds and, get, and then get to my fight... The... The prize is a uh, some money and stuff like that. I'm gonna bet on myself. Actually, no, I'm I'm not gonna bet on myself because I'm probably gonna gonna die. So yeah, I've got a super basic axe. There we go. There we go. Take it. Nice. Styled on that guy. And now I've got two axes that I can throw at my leisure. That went over over his head. There we go. That went right to his face. 
There we go. We did it. I should have bet on myself. I'm still wounded, too. So that that's fun. Uh, we're going to join in this one. Oh, I'm an archer. Cool. Okay, there's a horsey guy over there about to charge us later. This guy right here is the problem. We gotta get this guy down. Oh god. Oh god. This is not good. Ow. No, oh, I got him. Nice. Another archer? Ah, come on. Come on. Block. Ah. There we go. So now I just have to dodge this guy. Ah, I almost got him. Oh, crap. I'm in trouble. Yep, I'm in trouble. If I can get his horse down... Oh, I almost died there. Come on. I'm an arrow. I got 14 arrows left. Okay, good. Okay. So now... I'm dead. Disqualified. I, I think I did pretty good for being wounded and sucking. So... Skip all rounds. Sturgeon Brigand won the tournament. Good job. Did I get anything from competing in that? I don't. I don't think I even did. I mean, I got some athletics. Increased movement speed by three percent. Uh, increased maximum hit points. Hit points is always good to have. Let's do that. I do like that. And then we did some work on our quests. So. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and make our way to the other cities of uh, Sturgia and see if we can fight some baddies on the way and get more renown and stuff. Got four days of food left. I should probably do something about that. Ooh, I gained a level. Oh, did this, did this not stick? I thought I picked this. Okay, thank you. So, I gained a level, so I can add... Let's see. Control represents the ability to use strength without sacrificing precision. It's necessary for using ranged weapons. Skills that are bound to control are bow, crossbow. Okay. Um, what about social? I'm going to put a point in social, and I'm going to put another attribute point or another focus point in leadership. So let's trade. Do we have any bows here? This bow costs 71,000 gold, and I can't even use it. Oh, this, this bow only costs uh, 40, 400 something gold. Let's see, it does more damage, slightly less accuracy, and shoots a little faster. Let's do that. And then if I can just get a stack of arrows, too. That's worth it. So let's equip this bow on me, and then I'm going to put this bow on her. Done. I guess there's also a tournament going on here, too. So yeah, let's do... Let's jump into another tournament and see how I do. 
So we'll skip round till it gets to us. I'm an archer again, which is fine with me. I almost hit that guy. Oh, darn it. That's fine. Oh, I'm, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. There's no way. Yeah, I'm dead. I've got that guy wounded, though. Yeah, I'm dead. Bring it on! Let's do it! Let's make this count. There we go. Take it. Take it. Oh my god, I have a chance? What's going on? What is happening? How am I still alive? Ah, uh, come on. Stupid horse is gonna die. There we go. Alright, let's settle this like men. Oh, are you going to another horse? That's cute. <laughs> okay. I guess I'll just shoot you in the head then. I'm not sure what you're doing. Oh, is this a lady? It is a lady. Okay. That was weird. That was like a bug. Uh, join the next round, I guess. Hey, I'm an archer again. I almost hit my guy in the head. That was fun. There we go. Nice. There we go. There we go. Come get it. Oh, I'm sorry. That, that was the joke. I'm kidding. There we go. Just keep swinging. Just keep swinging. Yeah. Oh. Uh. There we go. One down. There we go, we did it again! <laughs> we won! Yay! Oh my god, I, I, I'm in the running here. We could totally make this work. Oh god. Okay, that guy's toast. There we go, take it. Yeah! All right, final one. Okay. There we go. I did it. Nice. Absolute Chad. And I gained three renown. Look at that. We got a bronze scale vest. And I got some money. Maybe. Did I get money? It didn't give me any money. I thought the winner got like 1700 gold or something. I didn't get anything. Well, I got some better armor. That'll help. But... Feel a bit cheated, but we'll give her my old armor. Oh, and also, I will give her my old hat as well. There, done. But yeah, that's uh, that's a lot of uh, Bannerlord just running around doing that stuff. There's, 
I guess there's little quests and stuff that, that you can do now. So you see these little question marks or these exclamation points here. And there's quests and stuff you can do, but I haven't really done much of that. You can start armies and stuff if you're part of a kingdom. And you just basically fight. And some of the larger scale battles are really interesting, especially when you start throwing in those troop commands. Uh, super fun. But, uh... Yeah, I'm, uh... Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to play this again. Um, I don't know of how good of a viewing experience it is. If you want to see more of this, let me know in the comments, but I don't imagine people would just want to watch me play through a game. This is a game that I can kind of easily get lost in and lose track of a few hours, so I don't know how enjoyable that content would be, but uh, I'm... I'm glad that it's finally released, because if you know anything about Mountain Blade, you know that mods are huge. So for Mountain Blade Warband, there was a lot of great mods out there. And even during early access for, Mount, for Mountain Blade 2, for, for Bannerlord, there were already people making mods. And the cool thing about this game is, is that it's built from the ground up to handle mods, and it's very open about modding. So now that it's fully released, I hope that all the modders can take it and just make something great. Like, they were already making a lot of cool stuff during Early Access, but because it's Early Access, we were getting frequent updates, even like little bug fixes would completely crash uh, mods. So people were getting pretty pissed about that, but I'm like, it's an Early Access game! The developers are trying to fix their game. And even though it seemed frustrating us sometimes because a lot of the fixes that the developers were, were, were implementing, oftentimes months later, was stuff that people were already using mods for that fixed it like months prior. <laughs> so now that, now that it, it, it's released, and I, I'm sure there's going to be a few bug fixes like here and there afterwards. Um, I'm hoping that that settles down and that will allow the modders to just go full steam ahead and make some cool stuff because there were so many great mods for Bannerlord or, or, or for, for Warband. I cannot wait to see what people are going to come up with for Bannerlord. So uh, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in uh, whatever video I make next. Have a good one.